Hi, Joe McCusker at the Weymouth Club today for a better version of you. We're going to go inside and do some working out. Come on. You coming? Hi, we're back with the better version of you, uh, doing more on fitness training. Uh, we're joined now by uh, Mary Herbenack, and uh, we're here at the Weymouth Club. Uh, Mary, thank you very much for your time today you. to do this. Uh, we're, we're looking at, th this show is focused on uh, helping people to become a better version of themselves in, mm -hmm. in this segment through fitness and uh, other things to, I guess, involve with leading an active life and uh, a more beneficial life, physically mm -hmm. and uh, you know, mentally, emotionally, all those things. Uh, looking to just get some information on your background, uh, if we could. If, uh, if you could just go into how you got involved with uh, fitness training. Sure. Um, my college degree, I went to UMass Amherst, um, was in business administration and exercise science and phys physiology. So I've always been interested in sports. I went to school for sports for exercise science, obviously. And then um, got away from that a little bit, went into more of the business side, into the corporate world. I actually worked in event planning in hotels for years. And what I realized was that I really missed um, the much more active lifestyle. Um, I wanted my career to go in the direction of what I had studied with exercise science. So after years in the corporate world and uh, then getting married and having children, I needed a new career that, that was more flexible and um, that was just more conducive to a healthy lifestyle for my family, not traveling and working long hours. So I um, joined a gym and started getting much more back into my background of physical activity and decided that I wanted to get back on that track and pursue training. So I did, I um, got my personal training certification through the American Council on Exercise, ACE, and then um, just recently got another certification in, in lifestyle and weight management. So to pair the two together, because really what I've learned, in, if anything, over all these years is that exercise alone isn't enough. It's right. your lifestyle and right. it's your nutrition and it, it, it's the trifecta. You have to have all three of those right. or else it's, it's not going to work. These things, I've had personal experience with this. Uh, I was at my doctor's a couple of months ago and... Uh, Part of, I think, what generated the idea of, of including fitness in this kind of a show was uh, something that he said to me was that, you know, if you're exercising on an elliptical machine for an hour and a half, how come you're not losing weight? That's right. Well, it's what you're eating. Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, ice cream sandwich ice cream isn't all that great after you've been working out. That's right. kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, and it is, it is the combination of those things. And, yeah, absolutely. And, and by, I think when we're younger, maybe our body doesn't... Uh, take the hit like it does when you get, you get away older? with a little bit more yeah. when you're younger. You're a little more active on a daily basis. Your body's growing, changing. You need more calories. But people don't realize it takes two minutes to eat 500 calories, but it would take you hours in the gym to burn those 500 calories. Wow. So that whole, you know, burn off what you just ate really doesn't work. It's impossible to do unless you're a Michael Phelps and you're in the pool for 12 hours a day. So. Right. Yeah. And not all of us are, no. are going to be in that category. That's <laughs> right. for sure. Right. Uh, I might think that I am. And, uh, you know, I start, uh, you know, I, I joke around uh, and say that I'm a gladiator training school when I come in and get on one of the machines or doing different things. But it's ha having like a mixture of exercises, yeah. the whole, the whole, Moderation, uh, everything. right. It, yeah. And that's, uh, it, I mean, that, that is so important, that, and people don't always think of that. Now, I would, that wasn't the default setting for me, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I just thought, hey, if I get active, I'm going to be fine. Right. Well, yeah, I guess I'll be fine, but I won't get all the results I can. That's right. So, and it sounds like uh, 
you know, this is something that, that you have a, a real lean towards. It is something I'm extremely passionate about, especially with um, all the statistics that are coming up these days. 65% of all Americans are overweight. 30% mm. of those are obese. Um, obesity in children has gone up three times the amount in the last five years. So it's a real problem in America. And the thing is, it's our lifestyles that have changed so much with inactivity, with technology fast food, not as many people cooking and eating good, whole, clean foods, um, and relying more on processed things, that it's really taken a toll on our bodies. Right. Then you add stress and overscheduling and all that, and it's just sort of the perfect storm that happens with everyone. And right. I look around and I just, it's such a passion of mine, just to make people feel better. They don't need to be in bodybuilding competitions or be able to run a marathon, but just to feel better on a right. daily basis through moderate exercise and healthy, healthy living is what I say, um, is, really, is really the secret and it's not hard and it doesn't take a lot of time. Now, it, it, when you, you talk about those kind of things, there's, I know from my own personal experience that when I'm in better shape, I have a better attitude mm -hmm. of things. I'm, I'm easier to be around. Mm -hmm. I'm not as, I mean, I can be grumpy any day, but I'm not as grumpy, sure. I'm yeah. not as, apt to be irritable about certain things uh, and just living and breathing a lot easier. Yeah. And you mentioned stress and yeah. I have no doubt and it's not born out of any kind of scientific knowledge but I, I really feel that it affects us physically in a oh, big way. Oh it sure way. does. There is a lot of research You're tied up in knots actually. and... Yeah and it releases certain hormones in your body. The hormone cortisol is, is talked about a lot in research these days which is a stress hormone which actually your body reacts to that by storing fat and gaining weight. There is a lot tied to stress and weight gain, right. um, as well as lack of sleep. And there's so many things. That's why a healthy lifestyle in general is what keeps you in, in the best shape, right. and not just hours on the treadmill. So, so uh, right. So, like, what I, here I was coming. Yeah. Um, you know, I go to my doctors and say, yeah, yeah, doc, I, I get on this heavy-duty elliptical machine. I say that it's, uh, you know, I'm working for... A, J.D. Power and Associates or mm -hmm. something to see if yeah. this thing will really last. Yeah. You know, when uh, I, I was, you know, uh, 235 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal, as I thought, you know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, of course, that's always said with a joke. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, at 235 for a guy that's, uh, you know, maybe he was six feet when I had hair on my head, yeah. uh, it's not, it's you know, not I'm not going to carry that right, well. Right, right. Uh, uh, and and it's, it's not good for a 50-year-old man to mm -hmm. be doing that. And, uh, and it my takes doctor's a lot of time. It takes a lot of time yeah. to do that, too. And that's right. what we'll talk about a little bit later, is that um, you can work smarter and harder in a little bit less time. Sometimes people, it causes stress just for them because they couldn't get to the gym. Right. And we'll show you that you don't always have to set aside hours or be at a gym every day. You can just do a quick, couple quick little things every day that make a big difference. And, that's, and, and that's, that's such a good thing because, you know, everybody's life is very busy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, all, it's almost impossible to avoid the busyness, but it's important for us to be able to do that and to break away from being owned by those things. That's right. For sure. Right. Uh, you know, even just emotionally, but physically mm -hmm. as well. And, and I'm really looking forward to uh, the different uh, exercises and routines mm -hmm. that you'll be talking about. So uh, we'll be back, and, uh, and we'll, we'll, Mary's going to put us through the paces. You know? okay. Well, maybe not put us through the paces, but help us to enjoy our life a little exactly. better. Exactly.